Good day, my dear students. Today we shall talk about Daniel Defoe. Daniel Defoe was born under the name of Daniel Foe, 1660-1731, English novelist and essayist known primarily as the author of Robinson Crusoe. Defoe is considered one of the first supporters of the novel as a genre. He helped popularize the genre in the UK, and some consider it one of the founders of the English novel. Defoe's prolific and versatile writer, he has written over 500 books and journals on various topics, politics, economy, crime, religion, marriage, psychology, supernatural, etc. He was also the founder of the economic journalism. Daniel Defoe, he was given his autobiography of the author Daniel Defoe. Daniel Defoe, he was born in 1660, uh, 24th of April, uh, 1731. Born Daniel Foe was an English trader, writer, journalist, plum pleaser, and spy. He is most famous for his novel Robinson Crusoe, published in 1790, which is claimed to be second only to the Bible in its number of translation. He has been seen as one of the earliest proponents of the English novel and helped to popularize the form in Britain with others such as Afra Bain and Samuel Richardson. Defoe wrote many political tracts and was often in trouble with the authorities and spent a period in prison. Intellectuals and the political leaders paid attention to his fresh ideas and sometimes consulted with him. Defoe was a prolific and versatile writer, producing more than 300 works, books, pamphlets, and journals on diverse topics, including politics, crime, religion, marriage, psychology, and the supernatural. He was also a pioneer of business journalism and economic journalism. About his early life, Daniel Fu, it was his original name, was probably born in the 4th Street in the Paris of St. Giles, Grippergate, London. Defoe later added the aristocratic sounding D to his name and an occasion claimed distance from the family of the Beaufort. His birth date and the birthplace are uncertain, and the sources offer dates from 1659 to 1662, with the summer or early autumn of 1660 considered the most likely. His father, James Foe, was a proper fellow Chandler and a member of a full company of butchers. In the first early childhood, he experienced some of the most unusual occurrences in English history. In 1665, 70,000 were killed by the Great Plague of London. And the next year, the Great Fire of London left standing only the foes and the two other houses in his neighborhood. In 1667, when he was probably about seven, a Dutch fleet sailed up the Medway via the River Thames and attacked the town of Chamsum in the raid on the Medway. His mother, Annie, had died by the time he was about 10. About his education. Defoe was educated at the Rev. James Fisher's boarding school in Prixham Lane in Dorking, Surrey. His parents were Presbyterian dissenters, and around the age of 14, he was sent to Charles Morton's dissenting academy at Newington Green, then a village just north of London, where he is believed to have attended the dissenting church there. During this period, the English government persecuted those who chose to worship outside the Church of England. About his business career. 
The firm entered the world of business as a general merchant, dealing at different times in hosiery, general woolen goods and wine. His ambitions were great and he was able to buy a country estate and a ship as well as civets to make perfume, though he was rarely out of debt. He was forced to declare bankruptcy in 1692. On 1st of January in 1684, Defoe married Marley Toffley at St. Bosophus Algate. She was a daughter of a London merchant receiving a dowry of 3,700, uh, a huge amount by the standards of the day. With his debts and the political difficulties, the marriage may have been troubled, but it lasted 47 years and produced eight children. In 1684, Defoe joined the ill-fated Monmouth Rebellion, but gained a pardon by which he expected the bloody ashes of Judge George Jeffreys, Queen Mary, and her husband William III were jointly crowned in 1689, and the became one of the William's close allies and a secret agent. Some of new policies led to conflict with France, thus damaging prosperous trade relationships for the foe which has established himself as a merchant. In 1692, Defoe was arrested for debts of 700, though his total debts may have amounted to 70,000. His laments were loud and he always defended unfortunate debtors, but there is evidence that his financial dealings were not always honest. He died with little wealth and evidence of lawsuits with the royal treasury. Following his release from Deptus prison, he probably traveled in Europe and Scotland, and it may have been at this time that he traded wine to Cadiz, Porto and Lisbon. By 1695 he was back in England, now formally using the name Defoe and serving as a commissioner of the glass duty, responsible for collecting taxes on bottles. In 1696, he ran a tile and a brick factory in what is now Tilbury in Essex and delivered in the Paris Chadwell of St. Mary. In 1702, Defoe wrote his famous pamphlet, The Shortest Way with the Dissenters. Himself a dissenter, he mimicked the bloodthirsty theoretic of high American Anglican Tories and pretended to argue for the extermination of all dissenters. Nobody was amused. Defoe was arrested in May 1703 but released in return for services as a pamphleter and intelligence agent to Robert Harley, first Earl of Oxford and the Tories. While in prison, the four wrote a mode to add him to the pillory, 1703. The poem was sold in the street. The audience drank to his death while he stood in the pillory and read aloud his verses. He was given his book, Life Adventures of Robinson Crusoe. Defoe was one of the first who wrote stories about believable characters in realistic situations using simple prose. He achieved literary immortality when, in April 1719, he published Robinson Crusoe, a travelogue which was based partly on the memories of voyagers and the castaways such as Alexander Selkirk, who spent on his island four years and four months. The first edition was printed in London by a publisher of a popular books. Will Taylor, no author's name was given. Also, Defoe wrote, it's in the first person. His narrative voice is not overwhelmingly subjective. 
Throughout his life, Dufour himself was also a traveler whose voyages included visits to France, Spain, the Low Countries, Italy, and Germany. Here was given Daniel Dufour's one, and uh, he is the author of Robinson Crusoe. At first, Dufour had trouble in finding a publisher for the book and eventually received 10 for the manuscript, employing a first-person narrator and apparently genuine journal enters. Dufour created a realistic frame for the novel, which distinguished it from its predecessors. The account of a shipwrecked sailor was a comment both of the human need for civilized society and as the equally powerful necessity for individual freedom, but it also offered a dream of building a private kingdom, a self-made utopia and being completely self-sufficient without any political, social or religious constraints. By giving a vivid reality to a theme with large mystic implications, the story has since fascinated generations of readers as well as authors like Joachim Henrich Kampen, Julie Brenn and Z. Stevenson's Donna with Des Chazerness Robinson. His popular statements. The soul is placed in a border like a road diamond and must be polished over a raster of it will never appear about Daniel Defoe. Expect nothing and you will always be surprised. It was writing Daniel Defoe. It's a, his famous books, Robinson Crusoe, Roxana, Colonel Jack and the, the book original. Now your home task will be to translate unknown words for you and to retell about the Daniel Defoe. Thank you for your attention, my dear students. Goodbye.